What's going on everybody, Dato Doya here with another Dragon Ball Fighters video. Today we'll be covering the assist for every fighter revealed so far in Dragon Ball Fighters. Big thanks goes to Twitter user Alzaroth EX, as they are the one that compiled the Google Doc that I will be using in this video. Make sure to go check out this guy's Twitter and give him a follow. With that out of the way, let's start things by going over Goku and his Kamehameha. It's a horizontal beam, cannot be super dashed through, and it wall bounces on hit. This is a pretty standard assist for a lot of characters, as you'll see when we get into it. And honestly, it's pretty good. It's not crazy or anything, but it's not too bad. In contrast to that, we have Vegeta and his air key blast rush, a downward angle projectile that can be super dashed through. As I've said in multiple videos before, this assist is insane, man. It's just so good at locking down a critical amount of space, and it also holds your enemy if they get hit by it. This is definitely an assist you can't go wrong with, and I would say Vegeta might be worth a slot on a lot of teams just due to his assist alone. Up next is Gohan and his Dragonflight technique. This is like a DP or a Dragon Punch or Shoryuken for a lot of people, and it's invulnerable on startup, which means it's really good as a get off of me kind of move, and usually these can be pretty good. I don't know if you'd want to run two of them, as you'll see uh, soon enough that Adult Gohan also has the same exact move. You might not ever want to run Adult Gohan and Teen Gohan on the same team, for example, but as a one-off, I think it's pretty okay. Now on to Trunks and his ability Change the Future. As you can see, he does a quick dash on screen and launches a key attack that has a massive hitbox. It also dashes through light key attacks, which I did not know previously. Another thing about this that doesn't get shown off in this clip though is that it can be used for combo extension much like Android 16's assist that we covered in yesterday's video. Alright, now we get to move on to some of the bad guys, starting with Frieza and his Earthbreaker move. This was another one of those assists that you saw a lot in the beta, and that was because it was so good. It appears a set distance in front of Frieza and it launches the opponent on hit. This leads to some combo opportunities that your opponent might have not seen coming as he was just playing neutral a second ago. Unfortunately, up next we have Cell and his Air Kamehameha. This move left me wanting more during my time in the beta as it just didn't feel that useful. It covers a similar zone to Vegeta's but it's more angled, and it doesn't hold the opponent if they get hit by it like Vegeta's does, so I would definitely say that this assist felt very lacking to me, but I'm hoping that it does have some interesting interactions in the corner, and it's not even all bad. Not every assist is going to be equal and Cell is a great point character, so if you're really interested in playing Cell I wouldn't let this get you down at all. And now we have Majin Buu and his sweeping breath. Honestly I really don't know what to say about this ability. In the neutral it's a little too short to matter, but I feel like in the corner this has a lot of great opportunities to be used for combos, and it might actually have a use like Android 16 in combo extension. I myself didn't get a lot of playtime with Majin Buu during my time in the beta, and I haven't personally seen any clips of it, but that is definitely something that I would love to see. Alright, now for one of my personal favorite assists is Piccolo's Homing Energy Orb. For those of you that have been following Dragon Ball Fighters for a while, you might notice that it's changed from his elbow rush, and I personally think that's for the better. This homing energy orb can be dashed through, but the power of it comes from knowing that. If you know that your opponent's gonna dash through it, just get ready with a punish and you'll be fine. And now the assist that I had by far the most playtime with during my time in the beta. Krillin's Sensu Beam. This thing is so powerful, especially after they buffed it. Now it recovers all blue life. And because I know so much, I'm gonna go really in depth here. The opponent can grab it, so you wanna use it carefully as an assist. But if Krillin is out, you can throw the Sensu Beam and he'll throw it back towards your team that are waiting in the wings, and they'll heal up. So if you like, if someone got really hurt, has a lot of blue life, and you wanna switch out to Krillin, you can do that, throw the bean backwards, and have all their blue life recover instantly. Super useful. You only get three beans a match though, and in between each bean is a set of three rocks that you have to throw before you can get the next bean. After you run out of beans, when you do the assist, you don't throw rocks, you just get a tracking key blast, which looks like this. Now onto Android 16 and his Hellheat move. Not a lot to say that I haven't already said. Go back and watch the last video if you want to hear my thoughts on how this move applies to combo extension and a lot of other great things. Android 18 on the other hand is somebody whose assist I haven't covered much in depth at all. And that's because I've never been good with these kind of assists. It's a barrier that allows you to absorb incoming beam attacks and in exchange for doing that it gives you meter. I didn't get much playtime of this in the beta, but from what I'm seeing, it does look like it could fill an important role, but I don't know how often it's going to get used. Now we're on to our second Earthling TN with another beam type move, his Dodon Ray. Only this one is a little different. Instead of wall bouncing, this one launches the opponent up, leading to some more combo opportunities, like the one you're seeing here demonstrated by the one and only Hell Pockets. And now we're on to everybody's favorite joke, Yamcha. Only in this game he's actually the real deal. And his assist is Wolf Fang Fist. It doesn't launch the opponent on hit when it's grounded, and honestly, I haven't had much playtime with it and I haven't seen a lot of footage of it. I would assume it's really good as block string pressure, but because it doesn't launch, it also might find use as something people do to start up hard combos, as it really holds them for a while, and then you can go in and combo with all the time you need. Up next is Nappa and his move that I'm not even going to try to pronounce. It's an explosion at the opponent's location, and it tracks the opponent up to a certain distance. 
Honestly, this drift isn't the best showcase of it as it misses, but I would assume it pops them up. And if it does, then it's like freezes only maybe a little worse. I don't know. I can't say for sure. I would at least need more footage and preferably some hands-on time. This next one is super interesting, and that is Ginyu and his shoulder tackle. Now this move might not seem like much, but typically in these three versus three games, when you get a move like this, it can be pretty good depending on the quality of the move. So for example, if Ginyu has any sort of priority here, that would be really good for Ginyu players is because as an assist, he'd be pretty useful. And I don't know, man, I need to see more of this move, but I'm definitely gonna be testing it out day one when the game comes out. Now we're back to the main man himself, Goku, only this time in his Super Saiyan Blue form, and this time he's rocking the dive kick. Now the quality of this move really depends on whether or not this dive kick hits overhead. If it does, this move is going to be very good, plain and simple. If it doesn't, this move might be way more niche than it has to be. Uh, he's gonna be on my team though, so day one, I'll let you guys know what I think. If it's not an overhead, don't expect to hear anything too good. And you can't talk about Super Saiyan Blue Goku without talking about Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta. And his attack is the Big Bang attack. And it actually has a hitbox when he's charging it, which you can see in this combo here, and that's pretty interesting. Um, yeah, honestly, I think that's interesting, to say the least. But I don't know how good it'll be. Uh, but we'll see, that combo definitely looks pretty cool. Shout out to Hell Pockets again. And now we're back to the crazy good assist with Gotenks and the Galactic Donuts assist. This move is crazy simply because it tracks anywhere on screen, and it also has the nerve to stun them for such a long period of time. Honestly, with such a good assist, expect to see a lot of this character day one and week one, and probably in the tournaments. Get ready for Gotenks. Back to back with these crazy good assists, we have Kid Buu and his arm ball. If you've been in any subreddit that's Dragon Ball Fighters themed or any Discord server, you've seen people go crazy about this move and for good reason. Look at how many hits and how long it holds you in one place for. This is a combo maker's dream right here. And honestly, oh man, I said get ready for Gotenks. I'm changing that to get ready for Kid Buu. This guy's gonna be everywhere. Now we're back to the classic beam assist with Goku Black and his Black Kamehameha. Another horizontal beam which wall bounces on hit. And if you notice, it does hit more than once, which could be interesting. But other than that, right now all we know is that it's another basic beam assist. Moving on to Beerus and his Sphere of Destruction, which is a two hit attack which is the sphere summon and then the kick, and the sphere has an active hitbox the moment it appears. Honestly, this move doesn't jump out at me as something that might be crazy or have a lot of potential, but there is a slight part of me that thinks in the corner this move could be pretty good, so I'd say watch out for it, but eh. And now finally we've reached the last character in assist, which is hit and his dash kick. As you can see in the footage, it goes through key blast, which is good, but I don't know how useful this is as anything other than a poke. Maybe you can get a super dash in after that kick, but I don't know, I would need to test that or watch it in footage myself. If you can, then this move might actually be really good against grounded opponents. And that's it everybody, we've made it to the end of this very, very long video. As always, if you want to discuss any part of this video, do so in the comments below as I'll be down there. And if you liked the video, I'd really appreciate you clicking that like button and subscribing to the channel. Thanks for watching, I'm Dato Doya, and I'll see you in the next one.